Hi, folks. Thanks for coming to this presentation on using large language models for content moderation. My name is Siddharth Salunke, and I'll be presenting on behalf of my team with the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. We know that moderators in online communities are really important because they dissuade antisocial behaviors, such as hate speech, but they also help you see more relevant content by enforcing community-specific rules. This latter point is the focus of our work. Prior works have actually shown that the reason moderators leave is because of burnout and an inability to put in time into their respective communities. So we asked the question, can the reasoning capabilities of LLMs help lower the workload for moderators by automating these processes? To do so, we collect data from seven Reddit forums, also called subreddits. We collect violating and non-violating examples of posts for each of these subreddit rules. Our system design is linear. We provide a system context to GPT-3.5, GPT namely the info about the role of a content moderator and the guidelines of the subreddit we're testing. We also provide a prompt which contains a title, a post body, and some chain of thought prompt methods that I'll explain on the next slide. The output is a flag of whether the post violates a community guideline or not. Some of the multi-step prompts we tried were asking the LLM to summarize the rules, explain a particular rule, and define key terms in a rule. An example I'd love to walk you through. In the r slash ask historian subreddit, you're not allowed to ask hypothetical questions such as if Alexander the Great had lived longer, what would his next conquests have been? The LLM actually detects that this will violate rule one and rule two of the Ask Historians guidelines, which are the rules against asking what if questions or hypothetical scenarios. This is a good example of detecting a violating post. For non-violating posts, we found that the accuracy was 92%, pretty high. But for violating posts, the accuracy was only 43%. So this warranted further exploration into the capabilities and limitations of LLMs. Some capabilities we found were that it's able to identify hypotheticals and reason about key terms. This was important for the multi-step prompting methods we tried earlier. Also, if a post was detected as violating, it was also able to tell you which parts of the post violated which rules. This is also very important for explainability. We also found some negatives, which were that the LLMs were easily suggestible. Namely, when you ask it if it's sure about a decision, it will easily reverse it and say, sorry, I got it wrong. It, they also struggle with rules with where the violation is has or is missing certain keywords. For, in, for example, in the prior example of hypothetical scenario, if the words what if were not in the post, it would not actually be able to detect that as a violation. They also tend to use non-committal tones, so it could detect a lot of problems with the post, but eventually conclude that the post does not violate any of the rules, which is wrong. So for some next steps, we'd love to include some live data and social signals such as upvotes, downvotes, and comments to give the LLM more context. And we'd love to see how the LLM performs on newer models of GPT. Thank you for listening.